Hey guys, welcome back to Tone Plays NetHack. I believe this is episode 16. Um, we're coming off of a week-long break, so let's uh, regain our bearings here, because I don't really remember exactly where we're at. I see I'm at about half health. Uh, I believe I just got the Sogavon prize. Yep, we are wearing an Amulet of Reflection. That is nice. What else do we have here? We got Dwarvish Short Swords. Um, I think we're slowly training two weaponing. Get some gold. It'd be nice to finish clearing out the zoo and get some gold that maybe we can buy some divine protection from a temple. We have a little stash um, that I'm sitting next to. I'm carrying an extra unicorn horn. Let me drop that for sure because that's heavy. A couple of useful wands in inventory. All right. My uh, surroundings with a blindfold here. I've got uh, one of those annoying Zerudis over there. Drop that extra unicorn horn. I assume this door is locked. Just wait and heal. Yeah, that's not bad. Put my head upstairs. All monsters here. Ape is peaceful. There's only a few more monsters in the zoo as well. Of course, there's a black pudding right in front of us. These guys are pretty annoying. Um, they have a passive corrosion attack. If you hit them with iron, they split. Probably want to avoid. Nah, eh, it's not a big deal. They get like weakened when they split. Let's uh, well, I want to throw this rune dagger at it. I don't think that'll corrode. Ones do I have? I want a striking or magic missile would be nice to fight that with, but I don't know if I necessarily want to hack it with the. Uh, these other ones. Let's see. I'm gonna engrave Elberth here. Let's see how much health it has. Um, so I'm gonna let it come to me and use my stethoscope on it. 36 out of 43. I'm gonna back off of that Elberth square and yeah, let's just. Zap it with this wand of uh, cold or something. Wand of lightning. Probably got pretty low health now. Put that rune dagger again. We grab stuff to throw at it. See, I didn't mind throwing that dagger because it's not what I'm carrying around, but it's corroded. So I'm trying to avoid with my other daggers that are already uh, rusty. Fear corrodes. Oh, let's throw some rocks, why not? I don't know if there's a way to pick up less than that whole stack of rocks. Kind of annoying because now you gotta drop a bunch of them as well.
A lot faster than the black pudding. All right, and a small glob of black pudding. So you can eat these, and they, they'll give you either cold resistance or shock resistance or poison resistance. Um, chance of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat this. Uh, I believe it's acidic, so you'll take damage from it, so don't do it if you're at low health. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you have a very bad case of stomach acid. The small glob of black pudding tastes okay. You finish eating the small glob of black pudding. Your health currently feels amplified. So yeah, we just got shock resistance, which is awesome. This so will continue using our lizard corpse here to name things. Our resistance is off, so we can remember them. All right, let's uh, build our short sword. Anything else we need to pick up? Hmm, our plus two helmet is corroded. Dwarvish Iron Helm gives one extra AC. I guess I'm gonna take that. Right. This is a blood fungus. Pull that real quick. Ooh, a lamp. I have a light source. I don't think I did, so that's pretty nice. There's a rock piercer over there, but he's not going to move because he thinks he's hiding. Still carrying rocks. Get rid of those. All right. So what else is in here? I mean, air, a peaceful air elemental, um, an elf lord, gray elf, a couple of nymphs, peaceful dog, a peaceful bat, peaceful water elemental. A lot of peaceful stuff. Rune dagger. I can grab some more of these daggers. All right. So let's kill these last two elves. I don't know if I'm going to mess with the nymphs or not. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to stab him with my short sword. See why we started with uh, low health. Um, another shield. I want to try that out. I need to heal up before I fight this gray elf. Oops, I didn't mean to fast travel there. I'll back down. Ooh, an ogre king. What is this pet? Same horse. Drop that shield for now. I don't need the cloak. Hooded helmet. Yeah, I did not have a lamp, it would appear. All right. Like this elf. Oh, more rune daggers. I think we're going to get rid of uh, the stack of rusty daggers pretty soon. What else is here? A plain spell book. Grab that. Lots of rune broadswords. Mithril coat. And there's enough mithril coat here that I feel like I should see if any of it's enchanted. It's going to be heavy. Okay. 
Okay, we're only burdened though. I'm gonna bring the the pet up here, the Testa stuff. I have like a stack of items up or downstairs, which will be pretty annoying. The pet starts like picking things up and moving them around. Of course, if something's cursed in there, it's not really gonna bother. Okay, this one's not cursed. That one's not cursed. Okay, none of these are cursed. I'm gonna take it all downstairs. The try on. Go ahead and drop these just to get unburdened. We got the Dwarvish Mithril. The trim on. Plus zero. Plus zero. Let's see what we got here. Plus zero. Who would have guessed? Oh well. I guess we will stick with the Dwarvish one for now. Oops. Oh, I auto-picked up everything. Drop some of these things again. We're up to 3,000 gold pieces. So if you buy protection, it costs 400 times your level. I think I'm level 10, so I need about 4,000 probably. Ooh, one of those rune daggers isn't stacked. That means one of those piles, probably the one that has one dagger in it, because it's less common than having uncursed ones, it's going to be either... That one dagger is going to be either cursed or blessed, most likely. And we need to find like a bag of holding or something. Or any bag would be nice, come to think of it. Alright, so how do we want to deal the rest of this stuff? So we can just fight the nymphs. I'm going to use these daggers and I'm going to line up so that if I miss, I don't hit I, I, the peaceful or the other nymph. And yeah, let's throw these daggers at it. Uh, take off my stethoscope. She's got eight health left. Let's just stab her. Dead. Drop another one of these potions of object detection. We know that because nymphs keep dropping them and it's an item that they spawn with. Do the same thing with this nymph. Stole my stethoscope. Nymphs are usually really annoying, and I wouldn't treat them like that. But since we're in Sokoban, she can't teleport. I don't know if you noticed that message. But it said a mysterious force prevents the wood nymph from teleporting. So they're a little less harmless. It's a little risky fighting them still. If they have you remove armor, that's like a multi uh, turn action, they can end up taking a lot of stuff from you, and it can get pretty annoying. Not as bad when they can't teleport. Alright, so now all we have are peacefuls. Probably get my horse to kill some of these guys, which I don't want to. And, and there's piles of gold under them, is, which, is what I want, I believe. Terrain. Go known map without monsters. So yeah, they're standing on items. I think if you use the move command, where you prefix a direction with the M key, 
can like bump into them and wake them up without um, angering them. Pardon me, little dog. I'm nah, still sleeping. Well, maybe I just need to walk around without my uh, cloak on. You sure are noisy. You were wearing a rotted elven cloak. Yeah, see, everything's awake now. Oh, see, this uh, air elemental is hiding a, a ring. Let me close that door before they get caught in that hallway. It's really difficult to leave. <laughs> Come on, get out of my way. All right, so we get a little bit of extra gold from uh, waking those guys up. And that's all there is to do here in Sokoban. I just see a dog. Should I get another pet dog? I don't know, how's the horse doing? We'll stick to the horse. I don't know. I'm just not, I don't like having a ton of pets running around. I just don't like managing them. It's probably somewhat optimal to have one. Especially for curse testing, in case one dies. Eh, maybe I'll get the dog. Take uh, this fortune cookie. I'll, I'll go tame it with it. You can have a second pet. So throw fortune cookie. Okay. Cool. And let's see, I'm hungry. All my food's downstairs. I'm gonna auto pick up off before I step on this pile. Let's grab one of these food rations just to eat. Oop. Hit the wrong letter. Um, all right. Time to grab everything we want to take with us and move on. I'll leave all these empty wands. We'll leave the backup unicorn horn? Well, let's see if it burdens us to take it. We're already burdened. We're gonna drop here. Hmm. We need to hold on to the Elven Cloak so that we can have stealth. I don't want to test the spell book. Do I have a stash of holy water somewhere too? I might have more loot on the first floor. Else is here by the way. Another rune dagger. Let's test the shield over here. Okay, so the shield's not cursed. It's plus zero though. In this pile. Oh yeah, long sword, some more gold. Man, too many items. I think we need to make like a little stash, to be honest. So let's do that. Let me drop all my gold, which will probably unburden me. I need to do more than that. The spell book would probably be a good thing to drop. Um, about that backup unicorn horn. What did the dog eat? What happened? Oh, he didn't eat anything, he just dropped something. Alright. Orange spellbook too. So... All my inventory got messed up, didn't it? Where is my blindfold? 
There we go. Oh, there's a lot of stuff on this level now. I think I just want to bring all this stuff downstairs. Well, we have poison resistance, so I don't really care about the killer bees. Ogre King could potentially do some damage to us. Oh, there's another fire elemental too? Oh, it's peaceful, okay. Well, that's good. An extra food ration. Fight the Zrudi. Ooh, a gelatinous cube. We need to watch out for that because it has a paralysis attack. And Zerudis can bite hard, can't they? Back up while we heal. Alright. Full health. I think we need to fight this Ogre King. So that's still there. Um, by the way, what? Okay, so my dog is at full health. So let's draw in this cube with daggers. Trying to stay out of melee range of it. See, the horse misses the gelatinous cube. The horse is frozen by the gelatinous cube. We're trying to avoid. What? Throw this potentially cursed rune dagger. Still got 20 health. Let's order in the hallway and I'll just fight it here. Now nothing can really spawn um, behind me and kill me. You hit the gelatinous cube, you are frozen by the gelatinous cube, you can move again. This would be a good time to test some rings, by the way. See if maybe one of these rings is a uh, reaction, potentially. Oh! So we just put on this, this steel ring. You hit the gelatinous cube, you momentarily stiffen. This is a ring of free action. See, that's why we did this. Wow, what? how lucky are we? <laughs> you guys catch that? So... Oh wow, this is picking up my status highlights, that's interesting. Ignore the, the colors here. But um... When we were hitting the gelatinous cube before, it was saying you were frozen by the gelatinous cube, and now it says we momentarily stiffen. And that's happening because this is a ring of free action, which means we can't get paralyzed from that. And that's the message we get instead. So, wow, we got really lucky. Because I knew those two brass rings, they have a value of 300, which isn't the category that free action falls under. Usually I, I wouldn't bother doing that unless I knew that it was the, the same base value as free action, which I think is 200. Um, but I figured we'd take the chance. So that's, that's hilarious. That's awesome. Um, so we can call this free action. So when you, when you can like learn to identify things by doing little, little tricks like that, it can go a long way. And now we can fight this uh, gelatinous cube with impunity, really. I'm going to check my enhanced screen. I'm kind of curious where I'm at. We got basic two up in combat. Which I think is max for me. Or can Taurus get uh Oh, the horse reluctantly steps over a rune dagger. That's cursed. No. Alright. Oh actually I want that gelatinous cube corpse.
Try and eat it. Let me engrave Elberth and then eat it. That's we're just slowly, uh, wow, we can't write at all. Was that supposed to spell Elberth? The, the, uh, the Ogre Lord won't be able to melee us while we're eating this. We have a very bad case of stomach acid. This gelatinous cube corpse tastes terrible. Finish eating the gelatinous cube corpse. Okay, so we didn't get any intrinsics from that. They, they can grant a lot of intrinsics, which is why that was worth trying. This is the Cursed Rune Dagger. Oops. Get another unicorn, a dingo, and an ogre king. We don't want to fight them all at once. I'm not worried about the dingo. Let's kill him real quick. Oh man, the white unicorn butts the horse. The horse is killed. We got to get vengeance. We kill the white unicorn. There we go. Karma, baby. Alright, let's heal up and then take on this ogre. <sighs> Look at all this stuff. I'll take on this ogre king next. Lock the door, bring my pet in here. Actually, I don't want the pet in here. He's just going to be picking things up and dropping them. I think so, maybe that'll help. What are you? Wanna? Alright. Time to fight this Ogre King. Too bad I'm out of daggers. He's got them. Where did he go? Why is he running? Brown mold. Oh, he came out of nowhere. Oh man, I was waiting for him to show up. He uh, he sneak attacked us. He surprise attacked us. That's crazy. Stealthy ninja ogre king. I was not prepared for that. I waited one extra turn, so I gave him a free attack too. She's got 26 HP. 23. I only got a club, which is nice. You can have like great axes and stuff. We can dish out a lot of damage. All right, you kill the ogre king. The dog eats its corpse. However, that works. Um, I'll take your gold. Brown mold corpse. You can eat that real quick. Nothing. I think they have a chance of hold resistance. Really, really minor one. Let's uh continue going downstairs. What do we have here? Dog. Mimic. Let's grab all our loot. We're going to be burdened. Anything I want here? I guess we can grab the unicorn horn. It's nice to have spares because they're magic tools, so they're good for polymorphing. I want nothing from that pile. Um, give me the gold, long sword. Uh, oh, there's some armor here we need to test. A tin of stalker meat, potions. I guess I can use this wand to speed my horse up. Or the horse is dead. I just have a dog now. Your knapsack cannot accommodate any more items. Ah, oh, this is gonna take a few trips. This is gonna be annoying. What are you? A large cat. I will befriend you. 
Although my pets haven't been faring well, so that may be a bad omen for you. Uh, I don't need this dog, you can die. We have here, peaceful settled pony. Giant beetle, peaceful dog. All right. Now, yes, okay, exactly what I thought. So we, we were already kind of creating a stash here. So I think what we're gonna do next is probably go back to mine town. Um, probably see how deep in the mines we can get. We're gonna start seeing some dangerous stuff down there, probably like trolls and stuff. Um, but getting to the bottom of it to get the, the luck stone is the prize at the end of the mines. That would be nice. Um, you can also find some other good items. We might even find like a bag. There's a random tool on every mines level, so that would be nice. And then on the way back, we can stop back here. So this like isn't a too bad of a location to like make a little stash. I'm not one to like really do stashes much, but I don't think we have another option here, so here we are. Um, I don't think we're gonna need the elven cloak. I don't think we're gonna need stealth where we're going. We can definitely ditch that. Really just drop everything for a moment. And we'll pick and choose what we want to take. I don't want to drop everything, everything, because that could leave us in a bad situation. Let's drop most of our stuff. Just so we have a lot of inventory. Oh, Elven boots. Forgot about those. Take those down too. They're another good item to, to polypile with. Oh, Leprechaun. Set this guy up. We should try two weaponing some more, too. Yeah, that fares for us here. We're still missing a lot with two weapon. I think Leprechauns are kind of hard to hit to begin with. Let's not do that. Come here, Leprechaun. He's at like full health. There we go. Nice. More gold. That's what I was hoping for. All right, what do we got here? Um. Yeah, we want the potions, the wand. I don't really care about the gem, honestly. I'll probably take this cloak, because it's extra AC. Okay, that that's everything, I think. We wanted? Probably. This pickaxe, too. Nice, we're not even burdened. Oh, another gelatinous cube. Oh, he dropped a wand. I wonder what that could be. Uh, I will eat his corpse again. Been interrupted. Got a wolves here. Uh, no intrinsics. But what could this wand be? Fire. Cool. That's a good wand. Alright, let's uh, indicate that we've used a charge from it. Wait, there was a... there were shoes here. Where did the elven shoes go? Oh, 
Elven boots. I carried them all the way across the level. Oh, second pickaxe? Let me drop this one and keep the one that I know is not cursed. Scorpion. We don't really care about the scorpion. All right. Drop everything else in this pile. All right, cool. So we've got a little stash going here. So I think next episode, um, we will grab what we want to bring with us in, back into the mines and go from there. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.